In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at applying style sheets to division areas or div tags and also using classes to control our style sheets. I've already set up a HTML document called index.html and I've just saved that and also a CSS style sheet called divclassstyles.css and this is located inside a subfolder called CSS from the root file called index. So we're all set to, to apply styles to a block of text. So let's go get a block of text. I like to use random text generator and this allows you to actually generate text on the fly and use that random text in our document. So I'm just going to grab that and come into our body text actually just paste that in. And you notice that it places all the paragraph tags in for us. Now the good thing about using this, we can actually now come in and start defining some areas. Now we can create a division. Now a division is like a container and it's going to hold a body of text. So in this case here we're going to have a div and it's going to have an ID and we're going to call it intro. So we can actually call this area by its name and we can close that div tag. So this is the very first paragraph and we're going to call this intro and let's apply some styles to this. To talk to a div tag we're going to actually use the hash symbol and we're going to call it intro and those names need to correspond and we need to close that. Now one of the first things we're going to do is change the background color because it makes it obvious to see what's going on. So we're going to go background dash color and then we're going to make that a color and we're going to use the color selector so I'm going to use red green blue and we can go through and pick a color so I'm just going to pick a soft sort of color and press enter and when I click over here you notice that the color has been applied if I remove this for a moment and just update the page again you can actually see a border around this section so that's indicating the div container that we're working in so this style applies for anything inside this div tag. Now, if we wanted to use this div tag again, we could actually apply it to other paragraphs. So we can actually just apply the div tag, or in this case, if we want it to go for two paragraphs, I could actually just move this div tag down one more paragraph and paste it here. And that then will apply to two paragraphs. So I'll just undo that and move it back. So it only applies to one. That's how we can apply div tags to a section on our web page. So we can actually have multiple divs and each paragraph can have its own name and we can treat each one of them differently or we can use them multiple times within the document. Now another thing we could actually control is actually the width. So we could actually say that this is only going to be 400 pixels wide. This isn't very big and you notice that it's actually moved down but it indicates what can actually happen on the right hand side. If we like to as well we could actually set a height and actually say well let's turn it into a block and make it a 400 by 400 pixel and then view this in a web page you'll notice that it has a 400 by 400 boundary where the rest of the document is sliding to the border of the document we can also have a look at changing this as well we could actually turn it rather than being 400 pixels we could actually make it 60 percent of the width of the window and this time when we run the program, it's always going to be 60% of the window size. So as it gets bigger, it stretches, and when it gets smaller, it cascades in. So that helps our website to be dynamic by using percentages. Now, div tags can be applied anywhere within the document as well. So here we've actually got one division here. If we wanted to have another one here, we could actually define a new one called div and this time its ID is going to be a quote and then we could actually apply some information to this quote and what we might do is move that down and we'll close this paragraph off here and we'll open a new paragraph here just to keep the document even and we can split that into a container and then we can make this a quote. So let's go create the quote then. So once again, we're gonna use the hash symbol and we're gonna go into quote and we're gonna open and close the brace. Now, if you're using Dreamweaver, you can actually come over to a CSS designer and in here, you can actually select quote. And if you wanted to, you could go down to the text information which is here 
and we could actually just select a color out. We could also change the font style if we wanted to. We could also change its size. And as you can see, it's applying this for us here. Rather than applying a div ID, we can actually apply a div class. This allows us to apply multiple styles to the one div tag rather than having to find each individual style. So in a way, we can actually compound styles. So let's go have a look at this. We can find a section of work and actually come down and define a new div tag. So we still identify an area, but we can actually define it by a class. And we can give that class a name. So maybe we'll use this as, let's call it sub one. And then we can actually close this div tag off here. So this section here now is called sub one. And you can see over in the design section, the area of the div tag marked out. So let's go give this class some styles. So in the styles, we're gonna now section off an area and we'll call this one classes. And so at the top of the style sheet, we can have all our um, div IDs and then below this, we can actually have all of the classes. Now the difference between a div ID is we talk to the ID by using the hash symbol. To talk to a class, we use the full stop, so dot, and then we can write the style name, so sub one. And once again, we use the curly brace open and close to define the start and the end. Now in this section here, we could actually apply something such as uh, text uh, transform, and we could actually make it uppercase. So we'll save both of these, and you notice that this section now has actually been turned into all uppercase. So we applied that one style to that area. Now with um, normal IDs, if I wanted to uh, create another class and let's call this one accent or accent one. If I wanted to have the text in uppercase, I would have to replicate that down here. But I could also um, use this as a concatenation. So what I want to do is also let's change the alignment so we can go text align and we could actually turn that center. And also let's go text um, decoration and we could actually make that underline so now we have a second class so when we head back to the main page we could actually apply this accent one to the same class so we've got sub one running at the moment and then I could also apply accent one and save that and then now it is actually centered and also underline the text at once so not only can we use an ID just to apply something we can use a class and then we can actually build what we would like in the class so in this tutorial we've been able to create new div tags define areas and apply styles to those areas we also looked at creating classes and concatenating the classes to actually have individual classes or multiple classes running at once to a defined area so explore the different options. If you're using Dreamweaver, use the CSS designer, look at all the different properties and see what cool looking websites you can create.